It's my fucking yeah. <laughs> it's my fuck and yeah, you have heard that bitches. I'm a badass weed. Wait, is he though? Are you really though? Loca lo loca cota. Loca cota. This early, excuse me, good sir, but you're from the American hamburger country. It's not my fault. It's so early. Hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> I'm gonna head for the hospital because you're gonna die after He's gonna no die. sleep. This really is the Silent Hill experience. You feel right at home. Fucking howled at me. Why are you doing this? Oh, you're slicing him vertically in his spliced head. Man, I don't remember the town of Silent Hill being this foggy. This is kind of insane. Well. Oh. We need okay. To kiss it. Okay. I'm I'm through with this. I'm done with this shit. I'm done playing. Good Dakota, do you have any other funny quotes we can discuss? Oh, ho, ho. You didn't see that coming, did you, bitch? Shut up. <laughs> I meant the other. Well, you can't just call her bitch. I would never. I'm sorry. You piece of fuck. Okay, so I've probably said that more than once. You piece of fuck. So where does that quote come from? Even I don't know it. One of those shitty streams. Which one? <laughs> Just one of them. Wanna, uh, take this one, maybe? He's mocking me for pronouncing it weird like that. But yeah. h how would you pronounce peace for P real? Peace? Yeah, but do I really pronounce it with two E's? Peace? Peace? I don't. Peace of fuck. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. It takes a bit of finesse. But he does think my accent is funny. Yeah, I guess. Oh! He's got a po- <gasps> Heaven's night! I should get my shotgun out. What if Maria's here? Lick it. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill. A quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous old mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. I want that as an alarm sound. I don't. I could make it work. I mean, sure you could, but I <laughs> wouldn't. No, don't do it. What good could possibly come from that hospital? You need to... Pain. You need to be free. Silent Hill free. <laughs> wow. Wow. It really is. The caliber. Welcome back to Brookhaven Hospital. We're happy to have you. Yeah, okay. I guess... I guess I should just leave it all alone. Yeah, do that. There's nothing interesting scattered on the, sh on the shelf or on she's the floor. She's so hard to impress. I mean, goddamn. Well, I mean... She's got good taste. Okay, how about some more Silent Hill 2 quotes? What Mary? No. No. You're, you're not. not. Do I look like your girlfriend? I've never had a girlfriend. <laughs> Room SO2. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows a, and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused visual violent incidents. Use caution. Obsessive towards a certain woman? Yeah, you remember that? Stanley? From what? Um, Eminem. Stan. Stan! Oh, is that a reference? No. No. That's so what did you do? Robbery? Murder? No. I just ran away because I was scared. Ha! Yeah, right. You're just a gutless fat so. No. What do you have to say that for? I'm just fat. <laughs> I'd hope at least. What do you think this is? I don't know. I've got candy. Okay. Um, uh, narration. Let's kick it in. This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. Uh -huh. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know 
You're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Oh no. I want to give you my prized doll. I made to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Oh! Showing the tit moves! Oh, come on, hit the right one. Oh! Well, so you, you killed three nurses. For what purpose? Because I felt like it. Okay, sure. SO7. More Stanley shit. It's further back, in the desk. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will. To make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. Lunatics? How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. What's his deal? But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. <coughs> I mean, why don't you take the doll? You ungrateful little shit. O on the cream stream, we need to reach a certain caliber of jokes. We can't just spew out random shit. Oh, what is it we do? <laughs> we can do it... Uh... A bit different, you know, we can start being entertaining. Mm, I, that would be a start. A, you're asking too much. Okay. Lakota, how can we entertain you? Oh, oh, thank fucking. I'm glad you took off the stupid body armor. Oh, because it's useless? No, because it's slow as fuck. I, I mean, I don't think it's realistic that it would be slow, but... Heather is 17 years old. She has a big jacket and the... It's probably one of those heavy Kevlar, I don't fucking know. I mean, still, her Kevlar isn't heavy. It's gameplay balance. It's like a silencer doesn't lower your damage. So this game makes no sense. Yeah, I think Silent Hill is unrealistic. <laughs> That's my biggest gripe with this game. It's pretty unrealistic, so I can't really, um... There's no immersion. I can't you, believe You know, I can't on. really get immersed in, um... Make-believe world. Make-believe. I mean, this is all... It, it, it really is, though, you know? She reads about these stories as a child, and it, they become reality through manifestations. So it is a make-believe game. Yeah. What you a got it. terrible game. You know, the thing I dislike most is going into a new floor and there's enemies. There are no enemies. You're just paranoid. Oh, they're just nurses and I'm killing them? Uh, yeah. Sounds kind of sus. <laughs> You should buy yourself a bottle of Jack Daniels and take shots with me one day, Alex. You mean through a co-op stream? You want to do a co-op commentary with the Crims man? Wow. You should. He should. I uh, use the nail polish remover. Okay, so she took the key, but left the spoon. Spoon man. Spoon. <laughs> take the key and leave me by. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't even want to touch them with a <laughs> ten-foot pole. Oh. Okay. You may not. La, la, da, 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 da. There we go. You may not have yet realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously, and so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. What? Use the password for the prison gates. What? Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept go on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. <laughs> Stanley Coleman. You haven't even met her. There's a type no. memo posted here. Even more reading? Are we gonna do yeah. again? Yeah, sure. Okay. There's a type yeah. memo posted here. Wrote. I have to do it in the right voice, okay, you idiot. What's this supposed to mean? P 
pure eyes, blue like a glassy bead. You are always looking at me, and I am always looking at you. Ah, you're too meek, beautiful, unspoiled. Oh. Thus I'm so sad, I suffer, and so happy it it's hurts. It's like my love for ponies. I want to hurt you and, to no, dis- no, and destroy <laughs> myself. What would you think if I... Oh, I skipped that. If I knew how you felt, maybe that's what I said. Can you go back? No. Can you skip the whole thing and read it again? No, I think I read it anyway. Would you simply smile, not saying a word? Even curses from your mouth would be as beautiful as pearls. I place my left hand on your face as though we were to kiss. Then I suddenly shove my thumb deep into your eye socket, abruptly, decisively, like drilling a hole. What? And what would it feel like? Like jelly? Trembling with ecstasy, I obscenely mix it around and round. I must taste the warmth of your blood. How would you scream? Would you scream? Would you shriek? It hurts. It hurts. As cinnabar red tears stream from your crushed eye. You can't know the maddening hunger I felt in the midst of our kisses. So many of them, I've lost count. As though drinking in your cries, I bring my hopes to fruition. Hiding your tongue, shredding it, biting at your lips as if tasting your lipstick. Oh, what euphoric heights I would reach having my desires fulfilled like the greedy bloodless cur. I long too for your sherry tinted cheeks, tasty enough to bewitch my tongue. I would surely be healed and would cry like a child. And how is your tender ear? It brushes against my cheek. I want it to creep up to my lips so I can sink my teeth into its flesh. Your left ear always hearing words, whispered sweet as pie. I wanted to hear my true feelings. I never lied, no. But I did have my secrets. Ah, but what must you think of me? Do you hate me? Are you afraid? As though inviting you to the agony at play's end. If you wish, you could destroy me. I wouldn't care. As you wish, you may destroy me. I wouldn't care. Roof time. Pyramid, Pyramid head. head. I've missed you. Oh, how I long for you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So much narration, so little time. I mean, I sure should have taken... Oh. What? I also like... No, but narration. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. But that, that's it. I just think you're way too violent. Should I even go up here? I mean, it's a room with monsters. They're apparently defending something. I mean, there was nothing in the room with three nurses. True. But, you know, I'm, um... Holy shit, he is long! You got him, dude. Shit. I like that they have uh, thigh highs or knee socks or whatever, or boots. I don't know what they're supposed to symbolize, but it looks like... Oh, it doesn't look wait, like did boots. I, did I just get impaled? Holy shit, I think he died. No? No? Almost. It's because, um... Oh! Red status text. That's probably the closest I've come to death. Yeah, ampule. Hmm? No, not on a boss fight? Yeah, fuck it. This is actually... Blue yeah. health. That's um, I've never been this high before. <laughs> Hi. Man, they are resilient. Woo! Way uh, to go! I'm stronger. <gasps> Master. So there so was no! a sub machine gun! It fucking spoil! Well, you know, I already because oh, yeah. I got the silencer. And you. On a submachine gun? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it said on the silencer. Um, yeah, it did, it did. And you had it in your nightmare in the beginning. I don't like like being here. Oh, I don't like this anymore. What if I get locked in here? Fucking Stanley. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky. <gasps> oh, Speaking of Marcus... Scattering Ma- fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturb my breath like opium, it drives me mad. (laughs) 
Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should have never gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. Okay, before you continue, I, I imagine this is this poem or this text is Marcus's affection for VTubers. Continue. <laughs> but why won't you accept my proof of love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Okay, fuck yeah. <laughs> I wanted something better, but okay. What if I'm locked in here? <laughs> so much reading. Oh, more, more narration. I'm okay, enjoying so the, this quite it, a bit, though. You are? I like the Stanley uh, yeah, me poetry. Too. Me too. Okay, so you still this uh, Marcus uh, VTuber? Oh. Okay, let's go. Heather, my most secret lover. I'm always watching you. <laughs> no matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door. Those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Of course. Stanley Coleman. Back to the pipe. Pipe time. Crack pipe. <laughs> not nice. Can you play the game? I'm practicing my technique. <laughs> I guess you're playing the game then. You know, I'm gonna be nice from now on. This is a different basement room now. Okay. It's not the same as in two. Oh, that's a submachine gun ammo on the ground. Oh, oh, oh. That's a wheelchair. Wheelchair party. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, it's spinning. It's spinning? How about you get closer? Examine that shit. I can't pick up this uh, ammo. Just fucking go, dude. I can't pick up this ammo. Go closer, man! I want to see it. I don't want Stop being such a poop. Oh. oh fuck this, Stanley! What did you do? Oh fuck this! Isn't it nice though? No. No, it's terrible. I hate this angle. I'm having a good time. That's I, what I'm saying. I'm ha I hate that angle so much. And I know there's no jump scares in this game. There are no jump scares. But... <laughs> <laughs> ah! What the fuck? You got what you wished for. Right? I mean... Don't you think that games usually give you a new powerful weapon in preparation for something? <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, I know. Me too. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. I think this is a very nice game. It's a nice game, but... Um... Terrifying. Like, what the fuck was in that elevator? Streaks of blood as if something got dragged or continuing on to the back of the shelf. That's normal. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. No squeezing. Oh. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I have to get something, an item, a pole, or some shit. A ten foot pole. <sighs> a three feet pole isn't enough. Well, I guess I'm coming back down here. That sucks. Yeah. I have a suspicion. It's great for its continuous firing. I have a suspicion. You have a suppression. Suppressor, I mean. Oh, well, that's gonna lower my damage output. My DPS. Uh, Think about my DPS. Sure. So someone rode a wheelchair and fired a some, some machine gun. Is that a smiley face on the ground? Oh. Uh, right there. There, lower left corner. Yeah, I see it, I see it. But I don't know. You see, the, these game developers were happy when they made this game. Like, is this an emptied magazine? 
I love those fixed camera angles, man. They're so good. Oh, now I can pick it up. I think it's amazing that we can all interact with each other through zeros and ones. Ah! There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but I... But don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. You're right. Should I write something of my own on my chest since I can't cut it open to show you my heart? I love Heather. No, something a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Mm. Stanley Coleman. Shut your fucking mouth, Stanley. I don't like you. Too much intrusion for my taste. Chad Stanley. Stanley Chad Mole. Yeah, we shouldn't speak in general, I believe. I think we should just do these streams with sounds and reactions. Wowie! Nice commentary, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm dedicated to my craft. Those thighs, though. I wish I had thighs like those. <laughs> Honestly. Like, damn. This game is too sexual for my taste. Well, not enough for mine. It's not very progressive. That's not very pog champ of you. At least you have a female protagonist. Yeah, I'm... Just, just or kinda... antagonist. No, there's no She's way. She's trying to stop Eternal Paradise. Actually, you're right. I yeah, think... they, they do sound like Heather. It might be the same voice actor. Maybe it's Heather. But she in sex work as a nurse. Future Heather, she wants to be a nurse after all the shit she's gone through to take okay. care of people. And herself? Yeah. Uh, so this place sucks. I'm done here. I wonder really honestly what it does, but... That's the best thing. We don't know. You don't, Phil? I mean, at this point. Okay, well... Yeah, th I think it's pretty funny that she's named Heather, and it's kind of similar to Heathen, and it, we have this whole cult thing going oh, on. Oh, and she doesn't believe... Yeah, she, yeah, I don't believe in God or paradise. Mm -hmm. She's a heathen. I, I don't know if it's meant to be like that. Maybe. Could be. And I mean, good. how does it work in Japanese? Although English is the original language for this game. Yeah. Yeah, no, she wouldn't be a sheer leader. She's still a bad girl type. Well, she's kind of like a bad girl, but she's also a daddy's girl. I think she's a very moderate teenager. You know, she tried smoking. She tried... Hang out at the mall and so bad what, influences. What the fuck am I then? What are you? I'm just saying that... <laughs> I think she's not perfect and I don't want her to be a perfect teenager. No. There's no such thing. You know, this, this goes for all of the Silent Hill characters. They all have their flaws that makes them special. And they're not ob like super obvious either. Like You get to know them the more flavor text you read and the more cutscene interactions you have. It's so nice. They don't shove anything down your throat. Finally be able to This is so fucking stupid. I love this game. Like, in what world will you do this? Do you think the picture will be perfect? No, it sucks. It's gonna be so fucking bad. I mean, it's gonna be the code. <laughs> yeah. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Okay, so the first time you go here, they build it up, right? And you get the submachine gun. Yeah. And then for, this is just how I interpreted it when I played the first time. Yeah. So yeah, I get a submachine gun. Now something is gonna happen because I'm ready to defend myself. Yeah. Typical game. I mean. Design, right? Mm. But nothing happens. Yeah. And then you go into the storeroom. Nothing. Happens. Yeah, you, you can't. You, nothing happens. You can't do anything. You're like, okay, I need something because he draws a circle on the map. Mm -hmm. You get the instant camera. You might figure out, oh, I'm supposed to use it there. And I thought that now when I have the camera, now th something is gonna happen. And nothing happens. I, I use the camera, get the code. Okay, now something is gonna happen. It never fucking happens. I love it. Keeps you on edge. Yeah, uh, it's so fucking good. They build it up, they hold you in suspense, and nothing ever happens. It's just brilliant game design. That's what makes me love Silent Hill so much. They play with you and your expe expectations. You are the subject, you are the victim. Exactly. Trigger spawns. 
that's so uh, like normalized in Resident Evil. You get a key item, bam, the windows broke, zombies come in, you have a shotgun, you know? Action, shit, typical mm -hmm. trigger spawns. Yeah. But Silent Hill is cool. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave you alone in this room. Goodbye, chat. No! Woo! I'm gonna go down save. Uh, um, sorry, chat, but I'm gonna go save. You know, I'm so fucking happy there's no jump scares. Yeah. <sighs> it makes me be able to breathe out. Because <laughs> I know there's never gonna be a jump scare, but something might happen still. Like, something falling down isn't a jump scare. Mm -hmm. That's just you being on edge and being scared, and then being like startled. It's just a magazine. It's just a hangover. Some kind of gossip magazine. You gonna read this? Is uh, go? Yes. Teaching despair. Hope House. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a shared organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. Wait, wait, wait. At its heart, oh, it sorry. is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me out right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover... However, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for. But it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigations of Hope House and the cult behind it. I have always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. <laughs> Joseph Schreiber. That fucking guy. I like him. Uh, okay, so first off, Hope House, it was changed to Wish House in Silent Hill 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the text of Silent Hill is dubbed, mm -hmm. but the voice acting is, is in English, in original. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So in the original Japanese release, it's more correctly translated to The Cult. Mm -hmm. And so the order is a mistranslation, and that's what it was called through the rest of Silent Hill history, mm -hmm. in the fucking movie, mm -hmm. in uh, Homecoming. They always said The Order, but it was never called that in the original, okay. whatever, in original writing. And yeah, Hope House was Wish House. I don't know if which one was mistranslation. If it was Hope House from the beginning mm -hmm. or Wish, it doesn't really matter. Oh no! no! Uh oh, he's you, going to kill me. You made him angry, man. By going into his room? No, you're rejecting his love. By going into him? Narration voice! Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry, I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day. For today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... So sad. Huh. That's really pretty. Sad to look at it. That is like, I don't get that sentence. What? It's really pretty sad to look at it. It's really pretty sad. Yeah, but I mean, she didn't... Not pretty, as in... Yeah, nice, I know, it? but yeah. I mean, why would she care about it now? I mean, it's still a doll. 
She probably grew up playing with dolls. Yeah, but she didn't want to touch the other ones or have anything to do. She, you, you. Yeah. I wouldn't want to touch that with a ten foot pole. <laughs> I don't know if there's one behind me, but there probably is. No, you're fine. Yep. Oh, shot through the back. And I'm dead here. Why do you have to go there and beat her up? Because I need the peace and quiet. I do not want to. <laughs> She's like, no, screw that. I want to take. Oh, come on. So Claudia has no eyebrows. You know what else is cool about her? White hair. She's voiced by Angela Donna Brooke. Oh, I couldn't tell. It's so good. She does a good voice acting for him. Mm hmm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I love that you have a rusty pipe in a rusty hall. It's gonna open behind me? What kind of hospital is this? A terrible one. Stupid. My pulse is actually like skyrocketing. No. These cameras. Don't do this to me. No, it's completely silent as well. Lights. Isn't this back for us? <laughs> yep, there he goes. Oh, oh. That's a lot of them. Is that the seal of Metatron? Oh, oh, this isn't good. Oh, fuck. Oh. Lisa! Lisa Garland! <gasps> oh no, this, this... Alessa? Yeah, that was Lisa taking care of Alessa. What the hell? It, it makes so good, such perfect sense because it... she has memories of Alessa. Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, oh, was so heavenly to toward me in that hellish hospital Is room. Is it so good? That's why she's the only ho nurse in that game. That's not... Mmm. She did get a little weird, though. What would you like to happen here? Douglas? Not this? No. Not this at all. Not this at all. What's moving? A heart, a beating. Yeah, but the walls, is that skin tissue? Yes. It's a beating heart. Uh. What is this camera though? That is a heart beating. So very. Oh! The fuck is going on? I should have gone to the left like I do. Is this how she view views hospitals? No. It's, it's really reminiscent of um, nowhere. <laughs> yeah, where do you fucking think we are? <laughs> Men's locker room? Safe room is what I want. That sounds muffled. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? 
Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> But don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. You know what it means? Um, I don't expect you to figure it out right away. It's kind of cryptic, but it, it does make sense what he's saying. Because oh. Heather here is like 17. Uh, and then... Joe was uh, seven years old. Mm -hmm. Seven-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. combined with Heather, mm -hmm. is twenty-four. Mm -hmm. So it's Heather's and Joe. And thirty-first. Uh, mm -hmm. And thirty-first is Alessa. I well, mean, it's all of them combined. It's thirty-first. Uh, Heather seventeen plus Cheryl seven, mm -hmm. which is twenty-four, plus Alessa, also seven. Yeah. Yeah. They're the same age. It makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, seventeen to twenty-four to thirty-one. That's what I uh, yeah. can only come up with. So that, that's what he mean, means. And uh, he doesn't say happy birthday to Heather, you know, when she was born. It's just mm. Cheryl and Alessa. Mm -hmm. mm. More pitiful, it seems. Mm. <laughs> like a child locked up. Oh, no. This is supposed to be Alessa. Reference to her, at least. It's not nice. At least I think so. I mean, if she was kept alive and locked up. Oh, no. Can't put it out of its misery. I think he's having a good time. Mm, I don't think so. I wonder, can you see anything in that room at all? It's like some... railing. Oh, there's the big face. See, the smile. The Maria smile. Oh, no. Fuck. I don't re remember that. Well... <sighs> Shit. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. You know, in the official soundtrack of, of this game, mm -hmm. they have some bits and pieces between the tracks where Claudia talks. Oh. And uh, she reads various texts from the game. Huh. And that text right there is in one of the tracks. Hmm. So it's kind of nice to hear Claudia read those out loud. Yeah. Although it's not uh, Donna Blue Brook or whatever oh. who does it. It's uh, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn who hmm. does the new Claudia voice acting, oh. which is really bad. Hmm. But still, in the soundtrack, it, it's kind of nice to hear these bits mm -hmm. and pieces. <sighs> Kill this with... What? Oh, the floor. There's nothing in here. That's good. Oh, it's getting... Oh, it's seeping in. Should I run? <gasps> oh, it's, I'm being covered with it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Perfume? <laughs> yeah, I can't. I guess that's what's making this happen. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Is this really fine? Holy shit. Oh! 
It's starting to damage me. Whoa! That was starting to hurt me. That was a trip. What about it? Yeah, it just... <laughs> Can you use right stick? No? No. Hello. Welcome back to Heather Play. This is the only time you've been able to do that. Yeah. She's all red around the eyes. I like that. It really shows how tired. She's fed up with this. How tired she is of all this. Oh, there's something on the bed. It is a bloody save point. But with that, thank you all so much for watching. I have like 10 hours of Sand Hill 3 footage to go through to make a highlight. And highlight. Yeah, um, there's a lot. There's a lot. But I had a good time with this. Three streams, not bad. And I'll see you in three months, because I guess... <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Maybe we'll play some other game in the meanwhile. Have a good one. Okay. Take care of yourself. Bye Ciao. for now.